Hello guys, welcome back to the channel for yet another video and today we are going to give my League 2 predictions for next season. Now we know um, I've had a long break from uploading, I think the last video was a week ago so I've had a week's break. Um, just didn't feel the motivation to be honest to make a video. Um, I'm back with probably the consistent uploads again. Um, obviously I need to wait for things to happen before I can upload which is quite irritating to be honest. But I've got a few... Um, video ideas in stall, but this is very special when it's the 2020-2021 uh, League 2 predictions. So let's get straight into the video. Um, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And please let me know if you agree with some of these, um, some of these placings or you, if you disagree. And um, let's get on with the video. And as always, up the county. Right, in first place, I've got Bolton Wanderers. Now, coming down from League One, obviously, we know they had that minus 12 uh, points deduction. And we've seen some of the players they've signed, the likes of Owen Doyle, uh, Anthony uh, Sarkovic from Plymouth. They they look like they're going to be um, very strong favourites to win the league this season. And, you know, going into the season, they will be expecting to, to win most games. And um, I'm not going to say they're going to go invincible and, and not going to lose a game all season because League Two... It is so unpredictable, and I don't think you can do that in League Two. But um, I think they're very strong favourites, Bolton, and I have got Bolton to finish in first. So, um, so let's see where it goes. Uh, hopefully, I get a lot of these predictions right. But you know, it's just for the fun, for the content. But Bolton to finish top of League Two and go straight back into League One. Now, second place, I've got Salford City. Now, a lot of people expected Salford to be high last season um, and potentially get promoted. They didn't do that, but I think this season they will. I think first season they needed to settle in the league, um, and I think they're going to spend money again, which is irritating, but it is what it is, so we have to accept it. Um, we don't have to accept it, but we, we have to deal with it, I should say. Um, but I think with the backing of the, the Class of 92, I think Salford will get out of the league this year. Um so, yeah, I'm going to go Salford second, I think. It is, between them and Bolton, personally, I think it's it is going to be tight. But I think Salford will finish in second. I think uh, they will go up to League One and potentially, after that, go up again. I, I'm not too sure how much money the Class of 92 are going to pump in, but Salford in second. Third place, I reckon Mansfield Town will be the third automatic, um, the third team going up automatic. I think this last season was very disappointing for Mansfield, but I think this season they're going to turn it around. There's not much to say about uh, Mansfield, to be honest. I think they always sign players and, and try and get better every year. Um, this year, I think, will be the year they finally go up, and I think they'll have a consistent season all the way through. So, yeah, I've got Mansfield... Um, to finish third, but I do see them being quite a way off Bolton and Salford. Um, I'm not sure how, um, I'm not sure the gap between them and fourth, but I think definitely there'll be a big gap between them and uh, between Bolton and Salford uh, from Mansfield. So Mansfield will finish in third this season. Fourth place, I'm going to go with Bradford City. I think Bradford are a massive club for League Two. And I think this season they will get a playoff place. Um, I'll let you know who I think is actually going to win the playoffs. But I think Bradford City will definitely take fourth. Uh, and get a step closer to getting out of this league. Because they're, they're too big to be in this league. But yeah, Bradford to finish fourth. And in the playoffs. Fifth place, I'm going to go Exeter City. Now, we all know um, about Exeter and playoffs in League Two. Um, they have struggled when they've been in the playoffs. They've never actually won the playoffs, I don't believe. I mean, if there's people in here that want to um, correct me on that, please do. But, yeah, Exeter will finish in fifth. Um, like I said, I will let you know who I think is going to win the playoffs after I've uh, got to seventh place. 
But I think Exeter will continue their run of getting into the playoffs. And I think they'll do that again this year in fifth place. Sixth place, I'm going to go with Forest Green Rovers. I think um, the signing of Jamil Matt from us is going to be a big signing for them. And I think there are bigger, bigger signings to come from Forest Green this season. And I generally do think that Forest Green could um, sneak a playoff place. And I think that they might finish sixth. Um, it's going to be a good season for Forest Green. Obviously, you know my, my thoughts on Forest Green. But put that aside, I think that the Green Army will finish in sixth place. Seventh place is going to be Colchester United. Now, Colchester got to the playoffs um, last season, just gone, and obviously they lost against uh, Exeter in the semi-final. Then Exeter went and lost in the final. So, um, I think, like the same with Exeter, I think Colchester will reach the um, playoffs yet again. I think they are one of the best teams in the league. And um, I know a few Colchester fans, and, and they're probably expecting the team to to do exactly this or, or potentially even higher, but I don't see them getting into the top three. I don't see them getting uh, anywhere near the top of the playoffs. I do see Colchester fighting with uh, who I've got as eighth place um, on the final day uh, to get that last playoff spot. So, yeah, I'm going to go with Colchester in seventh. And the playoff winner is Forest Green, in my opinion. I think Forest Green will get to the playoffs and I think they'll win the playoffs. And... Uh, Dale Vince will have that extra um, star to add to his tattoo. So I think Forest Green will win the playoffs, but Colchester will finish in seventh. Eighth place, I've got Cheltenham Town. I think Cheltenham will not do as well as they did last season by getting to the playoffs. And I think they'll just narrowly miss out, um, like I said in, about Colchester, they'll narrowly miss out to Colchester. Um, again, I think it's going to be a successful one for Cheltenham. Um, again, I don't think they're going to be too far off the playoffs. I mean, if they do make the playoffs, then, then I'm not too far out with my prediction. But yeah, I'm going to put Cheltenham Town just outside the playoffs. I don't think they're going to have um, the consistency to go all season. Obviously, we knew last season cut short. And if the season continued, I'm not sure whether they would have um, the last push in them to, to get that playoff place. But I'm going to put Cheltenham in eighth place. Respectable for them. Ninth place, I've got Tramia Rovers. The team that beat us in the playoff final two seasons ago. Um... Are actually now back in League 2 after they got relegated from League 1. And like I said, I don't think they're going to be down there. They're not going to go down and down again. And they're not going to have a bad season. They're probably at some stage going to be in and around the playoffs. Like in the playoffs. But I think they, again, like Cheltenham, they're going to have a successful season. Just going to miss out. But they are going to have stints of the season where they're um, either in the playoffs or a real... Uh, contender to be in those playoff places. But ninth place, I'm going to go Tramia Rovers. Tenth place, I've got Grimsby Town. I think um, Grimsby are established Football League 2 team now. Um, like I said, it was a bit like us last season. You know, I didn't think we were going to go up. Didn't think we were going to go down. Um... I think it's going to be the same for Grimsby. They're not going to go down and they're definitely not going to go up. Uh, but they are going to have, you know, some runs in the season where, you know, they might win three or four in a row or something. And, uh, and the fans are like, like, you know, maybe we could actually do this. But then they'll have two or three defeats in a row and then it's back down to earth saying, no, we're not good enough um, to go up. So, yeah, I think 10th place for a Grimsby fan, I would take that all day long. Um, you'll see where I'm going to put Newport further on in the prediction. But, yeah, 10th place, Grimsby Town. Eleventh place, I've gone for Carlisle United. There's not much to say about this prediction. Um, I think they've got a good squad there, Carlisle. 
Um, I don't think they're going to go down, and I, I generally don't think they're going to get to the playoffs. I think for the mid-table teams between about 11th and 15th, 16th, I think it's just going to be the same uh, that I'm going to be saying, to be honest. There's not much to say about those positions, um, but then again, League 2 is so tight. But no, I think 11th place for Carlisle will be respectable, and maybe next season they could they could push on for, for a playoff place from there, but... I think 11th place for Carlisle. I would take that if I was a Carlisle fan. Twelfth place. So this is rock mid-table. I've gone with Oldham Athletic. Now, I know they've had a, a lot of troubles in the past. Um, last season with, with financial and money problems. But I generally think that the quality of Oldham's squad, they could finish inside the top half. Um, I've got I've got them to finish 12th because I think it's going to be um, a bit of a season like Grimsby, like I said, up and down, bad results, good results, bad results, good results, something like that. So I definitely think they have potential to, to do something special, but then, you know, they also have the, the worry of, of failing. But I'm going to go with a 12th place finish for Oldham Athletic, stay in the league. That's what they can ask for, for to be honest, until they rebuild. But 12th place is Oldham. Thirteenth place, I've got Scumthorpe. Again, like I said, mid-table teams. Not much to say. I don't think they're gonna be, you know, lit like the league on fire, and I don't think they're gonna they're gonna be one of the crappiest teams in the league. They're gonna have moments. I think. I think a lot of teams in mid-table are gonna have moments, whether they're bad moments or good moments. They're just gonna be moments and little glimpses. But I think Scumthorpe are gonna be below their rivals, Grimsby, and in thirteenth place. In 14th place, I have got Walsall. Um, I think they're going to have a decent season. Um, you know, they're not going to be trouble in the playoffs. Like I said, a lot of these teams, I'm just going to be saying the exact same thing. So I'm probably just going to say in this place um, is this team because it's so much easier because it's, I'm basically repeating myself constantly. So yeah, 14th place, I've gone for Walsall. Fifteenth place, I've gone for Crawley Town, um, established League Two team. Now there's not much to say. Um, I think it's going to be quite a quite an up, up and down season for Crawley. But yeah, like I said, uh, Crawley to finish in fifteenth and not to have that much of a good season, but better than Newport. Sixteenth place, I've gone with Port Vale. Um, again, for the same reason as Walsall and Scumthorpe and, and the others. I just think there's going to be an up and down season with not many sparks, but not many um, terrible moments. But yeah, I think that Port Vale will finish in sixteenth place this season. Seventeenth place is my boys Newport County. I think we're going to struggle a lot this season. We've lost uh, Jamil Matt, um, and I don't think we're going to be able to sign a lot. We've lost our loan players as well, um, like George Nurse. Um, I can't think off the top of my head. Kyle Hawkins, um, no, not Kyle Hawkins. Ryan Ennis, sorry. Um, we got Kyle Hawkins on a free though. Ryan Ennis as well. Like I said, um, Jordan Green. Oak this can. Um, yeah, so it is quite worrying. Dale Gorman as well. Um, I don't think we're going to bring a lot in this wind. I mean, we kept Scott Bennett, which is absolutely crucial. Um, but I just don't see a lot happening with us this season. And I do generally think we're going to struggle. So I've got Newport County to finish in 17th. Eighteenth place, I've got Leighton Orient. Exactly the same reason as us. Um, they're not going to be bringing in the huge amounts of players. Um, obviously, recording this video two weeks later, they they could sign about ten, fifteen players. But as it stands, they haven't signed a lot, um, and they haven't signed hardly any. I don't think. But 
like I said, it's going to be a struggle for a lot of teams at the bottom, apart from the two teams that have got to go down. I think they're the obvious choice to go down, in my opinion. But, but yeah, I think it's going to be a struggle for Leighton Orient, but I do think they will stay in the league. So, in 18th place, I've got Leighton Orient. Nineteenth place, I've got Cambridge. Um, the exact same reason. I don't think Cambridge are going to bring in the masses of meta players as as, as their fans would like. Um, what I've seen and what I have noticed a lot is is League Two clubs always get linked with League Two caliber players or or some League One players that nearly got relegated last uh, previous season. And I think that's the same with Cambridge. They've been linked with a. Uh, quite a number of League 2 players, but I just don't think they're going to have the quality to get out of the league, and I really don't think they're going to um, have the quality to get higher than what I've put them. So, 19th place, I've gone with Cambridge United. Twentieth place, and I've got one of the new boys, Barrow. Um, they haven't been in the league for... I think it was nine. I'm not too sure the amount of years, but I don't want to even say it because I don't want to look like an idiot. But I think that Barrow are going to stay up. Now, the reason why I think Barrow are going to stay up is um, is they're starting to sign some League Two quality players, which is needed in this league when you come up. And unlike the other, um, well, I won't spoil too much, but I definitely think that Barrow will get will stay in this league. I'm not too sure whether they will next season. Uh, in their second season in the league, but I think definitely this season they will um, definitely be staying in the league and hopefully, uh, for their sake, staying in there again and establishing themselves back as a football league team. Twenty first, and I've got a relegated from League One team, Safe End. Um, I feel really sorry for Southend and their fans. They haven't really um, done a lot in the past few years. They've always been flirting with relegation in League One. Last season, they finally came down, so now they'll be playing League Two football again. And I think they were wrong to sack Sol Campbell. I mean, my reasonings why I think they sacked him is wrong. Um, I'm not going to mention it because I don't want to go into that discussion, but we're moving on from that. And I think that they're going to struggle again this season, Southend, and I could see them go down again but I'm not going to say that I think they'll finish 21st they'll have a very poor season uh, but they'll stay up with a few games to go so uh, safe end sorry in 21st place 22nd and just missing out on going down is Morecambe now I've always said every single year, well, for the past three or four years, that Morecambe are not a League Two team. Uh, they're National League quality, and um, and I still I still stand by that. I don't think they're League Two ready. Um, I think the whole structure of the club is not League Two. Um, it is it is non-League, but I think they're going to stay up again. And I mean, the two teams that are below them probably will be interchanging between the three all season, in my opinion. Maybe Safe End get dragged into it as well. Um, but no, definitely 22nd, I'm going to go with Morecambe. And if they do go down, I don't think a lot of people would be um, would be too surprised because I think a lot of people will put them in, in the relegation zone for their predictions. So 22nd, I've gone with Morecambe. Right, 21st and the first team relegated out of League 2 for next season is Stevenage. I think they luckily, luckily stayed up um, in terms of a reprieve, reprieve, uh, which kept which sent Macclesfield down, sorry. Um, and a lot of Stevenage fans are very, very lucky and thankful that, that they're actually still in this league and, and why wouldn't they be? Um, a, lot of, a lot of fans are saying they could actually go on and, and progress and, and potentially go up. I I don't see it to be honest. I think after last season the morale is going to be down. I think they had more managers than wins, which is terrible. Um, big shout out to Danny Lusby as well, uh, Stevenage fan. I'll probably be getting him on the channel actually for a podcast talking about that Stevenage incident, but we'll we'll leave that for another day. And um, and yeah, I've got twenty third place Stevenage. I don't think they're going to stay up. I think they will go down. 
um, in 23rd place. Twenty fourth and rock bottom of the football league and rock bottom of League Two is Harrogate Town. Now I know I'm being a bit pessimistic saying this, you know, Harrogate, bottom of the league, newly promoted team, no one expected them to come up and they are. Um personally I don't know what they like and I just think they're gonna not be able to handle the pressure of being in League Two and um I genuinely think they'll come just come straight back down. I think they could get relegated very early as well. That is a, a further prediction of mine for them to get relegated with with a with a well with a lot of games to go I should say, uh, but if they do stay up that'll be a massive achievement for Harrogate, um, but yeah I think Harrogate will finish in twenty. Right guys, that was my League Two 2020, 2021 uh, predictions, so make sure you uh, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. I will be reacting to my predictions at the end of the season. Hopefully nothing. Like last season happened where we had to go for points per game. But we're not going to talk about that. Um, so anyway, make sure to smash a like on the video. Subscribe if you're new. Comment, all that good stuff. Um, share the video out as well. Uh, we're on the road to 500 subscribers. Hopefully we can get that before the new season starts. And um, also stay tuned on the channel. Turn po no post notifications on to make sure you know when I go live or upload a video. And thanks for watching. And as always, up the county.